amazing, mysterious, and insanely hilarious show Lucifer has been on the top of the watch lists and has been loved by many for the perfect balance of love, drama, and supernatural scenes. Being on the air for five years, Lucifer has definitely had its success. But have you ever wondered how much money did the cast make? Stick around because we're about to show you the Lucifer actors' salaries ranked from lowest to highest. Number 10. Scarlett Estevez Starting off the list with probably one of the funniest characters on the show, beside Lucifer, Scarlett Estevez plays the role of Trixie, Chloe and Dan's daughter, who has an amazing connection with Lucifer. Considering how young she is, she has had huge success so far in acting in multiple TV shows and movies, but her biggest success has definitely been on Lucifer. Even though we don't know for certain how much she was being paid in Lucifer, given her net worth is $700,000. We can only assume that her paycheck was not as big as the other actors in the cast. But don't get us wrong, without her, this show would definitely be just plain boring. Cool! We're gonna get so much candy. Number 9. Kevin Alejandro Also known as Dan in the show, a homicide detective working alongside his ex-wife Chloe and the devil himself Lucifer, throughout the seasons, fans had mixed feelings about him, whether he's the good guy or not. But as of season 5, he is portrayed as some kind of a villain. The character definitely makes shifts between seasons, but we guess that is what makes him interesting and worth watching. We know Dan is not a huge fan of Lucifer, but in real life, actors Kevin and Tom are actually really good friends. As for a salary, the only thing we were able to find out is that his net worth is around $2 million. So we can just assume it's safe to put him in the ninth place. This is crazy. It's crazy! You're all, you, you're all crazy! Number 8. Amy Garcia Although Amy Garcia plays a supporting role in the show, the role of Ella is essential in so many situations. The religious forensic scientist has such a bubbly personality that everyone loves, even Lucifer. Given her religious background, Lucifer was kind of weird about talking with her since he's the devil. But once he saw her sense of humor and the way she handled things, he immediately became fond of her. Ella began to be a regular on the show in the second season, and even though she's a supporting role, she's become a favorite among everyone. As of 2021, her net worth has reached $3 million, and since she joined in season 2 and is a supporting role, we can only assume she would be around the 8th place. Yeah, I mean, I was just, you know, comparing DNA on a block of regular wood versus... Number 7. In Bar Lavi the role of Eve comes quite late in the show, or to be more specific, her first appearance is in season 4. Since her first scene, people have been falling in love with her and the fact that she is Lucifer's first love from thousands of years ago makes things even more interesting. She comes back on Earth from Hell in order to find the fire and spark she used to have with Lucifer and is determined to win him over. Now as for Lavi goes, even though her character was introduced late in the show, she still managed to climb her way to 7th place. She definitely keeps her money a secret, but from a few sources, we managed to find out that her net worth is around $3 million. You know what? I'm awesome and… Number 6. D.B. Woodside Playing the role of Lucifer's older brother and the first angel God created before he created the Earth, Woodside has had his fair share of amazing roles and exciting scenes. Being around for billions of years, Amenadiel, Woodside's character, is determined to go on Earth in order to try and make Lucifer go back to hell where he belongs. Somewhere along the way, he ends up staying on Earth with his younger brother. Woodside did an incredible job of portraying this character and really showed them how it should be done. Given the fact that he has become more of a lead role than a supporting role, his net worth has climbed up to around $3 million, which is safe to say that he makes more money per episode than the ones we mentioned before. Number 5. Rachel Harris Linda's character has been in the show since the very first episode. The therapist has been one of the central roles that the show would simply not survive without them. She helps Lucifer with whatever is bugging him, but mostly with his feelings for Chloe. During the show, Linda has evolved so much as a character, becoming part of the leading roles. She ends up finding love with Lucifer's older brother Amenadiel, and they even have a baby together. Now, as far as Rachel's salary goes, we can be certain how much she was actually getting. But we found out her net worth to be around $4 million. And since she has been a part of huge shows such as Suits, we can assume it was enough to put her in the middle. 
I, I didn't know that they could grow back. Number 4. Lauren German You might be shocked how the role of Chloe is on the fourth place, but even though she's a lead role, there are a few people that made a little bit more money than she did. As we said, Lauren German portrays the detective, also known as Chloe, who works together with Lucifer in order of catching the bad guys. She becomes Lucifer's primary love interest, and quickly there's the element of love and romance involved in the entire relationship. Even though German has been on the show since the beginning, the exact amount German is played is still unknown. These celebrities really don't want to talk about money. We can only assume that it's somewhat similar to what Ellis is getting paid. And he didn't satiate his anger. So he went after her clients and probably got stabbed more. Number 3. Leslie Ann Brand Coming in the show as the role of the demon Mazikeen, coming on Earth in order to protect her king, Lucifer, but also has to find her own place among humans. She has been a part of the show since the pilot and has been quite the essential role. Now, given that Bran has been on the show since the beginning and she's still on it, we can assume she's getting paid really well for her role. Unfortunately, we don't have official details as to how much her salary is, but given that she has a net worth of $21 million, we can just assume the salary is more than enough. So, Mama Morningstar is on the loose. I never could break. Number 2. Trisha Helfer Shocked to see her in second place? We are too. Trisha Helfer has starred in the show, portraying Lucifer's mother's attorney at first, but when she dies, his mother, the goddess, takes over her body. So, Helfer has had two roles to portray in the short period of time she was on the show. Helfer did an incredible job in the role of the goddess that we can't imagine anyone else portraying that role. From several sources, we were able to find out that her net worth is $8 million. So according to that, Trisha holds the second place on this list of highest salary on Lucifer. My angel, I will miss you. Number 1. Tom Ellis You guessed it, the first place goes to no other than the king of hell himself. Given that the show is called Lucifer after him and that he is literally in 90% of the scenes, it's only fair to say that Ellis holds the highest salary of all the other actors in the show. But that didn't come as a big surprise for us. The charming, handsome, and incredibly funny actor managed to make this show his own and bring his special spark to it. As for his salary, since the show has moved from Fox to Netflix, Ellis is thought to make around $50,000 per episode of the show, which if you put it together and realize that he has been on every single episode, that is quite a lot of money. I suppose this won't bother you. On a related note, we wanted to know, did we forget to mention anyone? Let us know in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this one, make sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching guys.